Hey, this is the second part of my quiet compressor video. In the first part, I took the actual compressor and motor off of the tank and put it into a box to quieten it down that eventually made its way up into my attic. If you haven't seen the first part, go ahead and check that out now. Otherwise, we'll get right into the build and afterwards, I'll let you know what I would have done differently and tell you about some issues I ran into. That's my son Evan helping me sit into the rafters. I did put a board on the right side to keep it from moving around and that worked out really well. I've since covered the ceiling with plywood so that helps with the sound a bit too. Now since these two videos are all about quieting down the compressor you probably want to hear what it sounds like now. So here's what it was before. And this is what it sounds like now. Not too bad, huh? Now, there is one more thing I did that's not in the video. There was a really loud pulsing air sound coming from the air tank. Maybe from the check valve, I'm not too sure. But, I was able to take care of that by putting a really small tank up into the enclosure upstairs. This is just one I had on hand from an RV airbag system. And it made a huge difference. I know there are lots of other ways of quieting down an air compressor. Uh, if you've got some other ideas, put them in the comments below. But this has been a fun build and it's really worked out well for me. However, I have accumulated a lot of air tools and I have a bus that I need to paint. So I'm starting a new compressor build. A big one. The plan is to build an enclosure on the back of the workshop using the same techniques I used on the box upstairs, except enclosing the whole unit. If you'd like to see that, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe below. It may be a while before we get around to it, but I'm sure there'll be something interesting for you to check out between now and then. And thanks a lot for hanging out with me. See you soon.